pleasure to have participated in one great adventure. It's an adventure that took place not just in the month of July, but rather one that took place in the last decade. We all here and the people listening in today had the opportunity to share that adventure over its developing and unfolding in the past months and years. It's our privilege today to share with you some of the details of that final month of July that was certainly the highlight for the three of us of, of that decade. We're going to divert a little bit from the format of past press conferences and talk about the things that interested us most, in particular the, the uh, things that occurred on and about the moon. We will use a number of films and, and slides which most of you have already seen and with the intent of, of pointing out some of the things that we observed on the, the spot, which may not be obvious to, to those of you who are, who are uh, looking at them here from the sur surface of Earth. The, the flight, as you know, started promptly. The flight, as you know, started promptly. And I think that was characteristic of, of all the events of the flight. The Saturn gave us one magnificent ride. was easy. All you needed was a 10 cent movie ticket and a nickel bag of popcorn. What science fiction in the childhood of the space age could have guessed the shape of reality? The Saturn V rocket. Three stages, 28 stories tall, with 11 engines as powerful as all the waterfalls in North America combined. Years in the planning, months in the building and testing, the Saturn first stage lived but two minutes, 41 seconds. Eleven 
Houston, thrust is go. All engines, you're looking good. All right, Roger, you're loud and clear. You... Two minutes, 41 seconds. Time to throw Apollo 40 miles up into the sky, and then an empty shell to fall back into the sea. separation and the launch escape tower separation. Yeah, Houston, uh, Apollo 11, that side in gave us a magnificent ride. Uh, Roger, 11, we'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. 11, Houston, uh, your guidance has converged. You're looking good. Downrange, 140 miles. Altitude, 62 miles. Velocity, 10 Mission miles control in Houston, Texas, had taken over from launch so control at Cape Kennedy for, for the duration... Separation and the launch escape tower separation. Yeah, Houston, uh, Apollo 11, that Saturn gave us a magnificent ride. Uh, Roger, 11, we'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. 11, Houston, uh, your guidance has converged. You're looking good. Downrange, 140 miles. Altitude. like you're well on your way now. 11 Houston, uh, your guidance has converged. You're looking good. Downrange, 140 miles. Altitude, 62 miles. 